Uh, so let's check out uh, a double integral. All right, so if you had a uh, double integral of some function, uh, so the function being this sort of green thing that we see, and we wanted to find uh, the amount of volume that is underneath uh, this function uh, and above the uh, y equals uh, zero x equals, or sorry, uh, above the z equals zero plane, uh, where we see uh, x and y values. Uh, so if we hold z equal equal uh, to zero and don't let it go below this plane, and we wanted to capture everything above this plane, uh, constrained to looks like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, y goes between negative five and five. X goes between negative five and five. And then uh, z goes between zero and about so one, two, three, four, five. So uh, all of our values are going between negative five and five, except for z is going between zero and uh, five here. And then we have a, a cool little uh, function that we're plotted here. So if we were to take this in traditional uh, calculus, you know, we're worried about two dimensional things. So if this were a, a 2D function, we would be saying, okay, you know, what would each little slice equal to in terms of area? And we would compute all these areas and if we wanted to get one continuous value, that would be the integral of this uh, single one-dimensional line, and then we would find the area underneath that line. Uh, but now we're in 3D, so we want to compute the volume. Uh, so we do the same thing, except for uh, we then go with another uh, further step here, which uh, would then be all these volume segments. So you'd have this volume chunk, volume chunk, volume chunk. And we would just keep chunking out all these volumes until we had a full uh, three-dimensional volume there.